In this video, we'll discover about how to bring mindfulness to your exercise routine. Researchers have discovered many benefits of regular exercise. It's one of the requirements for staying healthy and maintaining an excellent physique. Meanwhile, we have discussed the perks available to you when you learn to stay in the moment. A combination of mindfulness and exercise is an intriguing combo that offers the benefits of both practices. Below are some hacks that can help you to integrate mindfulness into exercise seamlessly. Pause and be mindful of your purpose. There are various motivations for exercise. Some people are involved in regular exercise because they want to lose weight. For others, it's because they want to improve their physique or boost their immune system. In the midst of stress and sweat, it's easy to lose sight of the reason for the activity. It's this loss of focus that makes some people inconsistent with their routine. You can keep your eye on the ball by reminding yourself about the reason for the exercise. When you keep your mind on what you intend to achieve, you are staying in the moment because you'll focus on the essence of the activity rather than the stress and other unpleasant sensations you're experiencing as a result of the activity. In the long run, you'll be able to retain your consistency as you proceed towards your target. Disconnect from digital devices. Listening to music can help during exercise because it can improve your mood during the routine. However, bringing your phone along during your workout can lead to distractions. You can end up receiving a call or tempted to check a notification that can break your rhythm. So it's in your best interest to stay away from your digital devices during your routine so that you can be absolutely focused on what you're doing. Let your focus be on the treadmill, sidewalk, woods, and other things present in the place you are working out. You should ensure that you don't let the thought of any other things or events fill your mind. Your bills and how you will convince your boss to give you a raise can wait for the time being. Be fully present in the moment as you sweat it out to enjoy the benefits of both mindfulness and working out. Focus on your body sensation. When you are involved in an exercise routine, there are so many processes going on in your body. Be fully present in the moment by observing the sensations in your body while working out. Do you feel the same way you felt the previous day? Are you finding the routine easier or more challenging than previous times? Failure to notice these changes can make you regret getting involved in physical activity in the long run. You may be doing a routine wrongly or putting undue pressure on a part of your body. Your body will give you signals that things aren't right. However, you will find it difficult to detect these warning signs, which can lead to some health complications in the future. Exercise is supposed to boost your health, not make it get worse. You can know when to stop or seek professional advice when you are observant enough to notice what's going on in your body. Leverage your breath as an anchor. If you're not careful, your mind can start wandering around during your workout. It's natural that your mind will be trying to divert your attention away from the strain your body is experiencing during physical activity. That's the reason you can find yourself paying unnecessary attention to a promotional poster on the wall when you ought to be focusing on the sensations in your body. So you have a duty to stop your mind by wandering away. You can leverage your body sensations as a focal point, as suggested earlier. However, this approach mightn't work for everyone. If you are included in that category, you can try your breath instead. Use your inhalation and exhalation as anchor points during the workout. Pay attention to the rate to ensure that you stay in the moment. Try other focal points. Staying in the moment during physical activity can train you to have more control over your monkey mind. However, it's going to be very challenging to have control over your thoughts if you don't have a particular anchor or focal point. Therefore, you need something that can keep distractions and negative thoughts far away from your mind. If you use your body sensations and your breath without results, don't be afraid to try another anchor. You'll not be committing any crime if you experiment with different focal points until you find the one that'll work for you. You can try an anchor for two days. If it's not working, experiment with another one. Once you find the one that works for you, stick with it and use it whenever you're working out. Take advantage of open awareness. The most common and prescribed method of keeping stray thoughts away from your mind when exercising is to choose an anchor point and focus on it throughout the activity. Nonetheless, some people struggle with this approach. It feels too restrictive for them because it requires a lot of self-control. If that is the case for you, all hope isn't lost. You can use another approach that many people have found effective, open awareness. In this technique, instead of choosing a specific focal point, you'll deliberately allow your mind to move from one anchor to another. What makes this different from when your mind is wandering aimlessly is that you're still in charge. The most important thing about mindfulness is that you are in charge of your thoughts and emotions rather than allow them to overwhelm you. You can start by observing the air before moving on to the temperature. Strengthen your commitment. In most cases, you'll remember the reason for the workout at the start of the routine. 
Still, you can't start losing sight of it as your hands start quaking and the muscle strain starts getting to you. You'll start wishing you were through and might bring an abrupt end to the routine if you are not determined enough. That trying moment is the best time to renew your resolve. It's that period that you need to remind yourself about the purpose of the workout. Exercise is a discipline of the body, while mindfulness is the discipline of the mind. So when you combine them, you are exerting self-control of your mind and body at the same time. Strengthen your commitment by refocusing on the benefits of the activity. Appreciate your efforts. The period when you're working out is one of the best times you can get rid of the toxicity of upward and downward social comparison. One of the reasons you feel bad about yourself and the quality of your experiences in life is that you are comparing yourself with others. You feel that some people are having nobler experiences, which makes you doubt yourself. It's in your best interest to eradicate this harmful comparative analysis. As you get to the end of your workout for the day, appreciate your efforts. You might not have the physique of your dreams yet or lose weight as much as you want. Yet you should be proud of the fact that you're striving to make progress. Take a moment to allow the positive vibes of the progress you are making to fill your mind. Savor the feeling for a while before you call it a day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.